Hi, Leo. I'm going to show you um, about uh, Black Mesh for Blender. That's new add-on by Mift. You see, I'm in um, a pink uh, room, but don't worry. It's not dangerous. Uh, all right. So I'm going to uh, blend. Wait, I forgot something. So um, it is based on Open VDB library. It's an open source C++ library. Um, there was an other add-on in the past, and we uh, used also the same library. And uh, this is about voxelization. Yeah, I'm not sure if you call it that way, but and then this add-on is different, of course. We take a look at that. So let's go to Blender. If we go to Blender, we see we have also uh, a remesh uh, the, the voxel. I think that's based on Open VDB, I suppose. But you see, it has only two um, parameters. It has only uh, functional size and adaptivity. So, um, <clears throat> but now let's go to the add-on. That's the black mesh add-on. You can find it in the end panel. If you start, you see two uh, plus sign. So, the um, if you select an object and you select this one, you see layer from selected. So I guess best and easiest to, to start with that. Then you see um, yeah, a few settings you can uh, do over here. So the fox size, adaptivity, but it has more settings uh, like half width and ease of value. Now the interesting part is if you add um, another object like like that uh, yeah I don't have any add-ons installed in this uh, blender build so I'm looking for solidify here otherwise I would use uh, box cutter or hard ups of course now <clears throat> then uh, you see I have this object selected but there is nothing set for that we are working with this uh, mesh, so that's the source. Now we add another layer. So we add a layer, but if you add a layer, you have a few options. You can add a filter layer, boolean layer, source layer, something like that, uh, or uh, utility. We'll look at that later. Let's start with the boolean. Uh, then you can select the mode of the boolean, that is add, subtract, intersect. And you select, um, well, in on the type you can select ob object and then you can select the object which is then uh, plane. If you select press update, then it's going to the to do the bool. If I hide plane in the outliner, then we get this. Uh, interesting is if I select a plane and I change the size like that, and I press update over here we see that over there so it is non-destructive um, a voxel workflow let's say um you can add other layers so um, uh, i'm going to add let's add a filter uh, if you add a filter so that means you're going to filter on the whole object so um you have to play around with the settings because there is no documentation yet. But <clears throat> yeah, it's a matter of uh, playing around. So I press update. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you see that uh, works on the whole uh, mesh. So the filter layer works on the whole mesh. And there is another um, kind of layer you can add a utility. And then you can choose prune, delete, erode, honestly no idea what it is, so let's try that, let's zoom in a bit closer so we can see what's going on, update, um, I didn't see anything I believe, or am I blind, uh, let me check, um, tolerize, Mm, well, you have to try that out. Iterations. 
Personality, focus size. All right. Focus size. Yeah, so that's uh, very nice. You, so what you can do is you, you have a non-destructive workflow, but uh, so that I show you already, I forgot. So if you click this one, this eye, you don't see anything, but you have to uh, click update and then you can see that. All right. Yeah, so that's it. You can do a lot of things with that. All right. Thank you.